What's up, Faith family? Jarvis Guy and the Boy Jarvis YT here, and welcome back to another Diecast review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Matchbox Dodge Monaco police car, which was first introduced in 2008. Now, while I don't have any further details on this car, since it is a Matchbox, there's not as much of a breadth of information for these as there are for Hot Wheels, it is pretty obvious that this car is not only old, but it has been through quite a lot. You can see some serious wearing on the paint in the front at the back i mean it is it's really bad on on both sides because their paint is chipped off to the point to where you can't even like recognize the dodge logo type which is what made it difficult to even identify what the actual make uh and model of this car actually was but man i say overall it's held up pretty well i mean you can still see the identifying marks that this is indeed a police car you have the black and white contrasting colors so that makes it obvious and you do kind of have the siren light right here but that's 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 bound to come off very soon because it's very flimsy and i think there's supposed to be two anchor points and right now it only has one because it got broken however way but either way i think when it comes down to the actual design of this car pretty decent i guess i mean they don't really make cop cars like this anymore but uh this is a really nice classic car design i really don't know what much more there is to say about it. It's, this is about as stock standard as a cop car gets aside from how old it is because if you look at the copyright date at the bottom right here it gives credit to chrysler llc 1978 for the design and my camera does not want to focus overall pretty decent car uh, in terms of recommendations i really can't recommend it if this car came out in 2008 then it is 15 years old wait 15 it's it's however many years old and is is definitely not worth it at that point you know these cars they just get up there in age when you get past the 10 year mark then that's the point where I just, I can't recommend this anymore. Even if this was like in, in masterful condition, if every single one of these Dodge Monaco's was, you know, it absolutely pristine after 15 years and there was never any paint chipping and never wore and tore, I still wouldn't recommend it because people would charge way too fucking much for it. So I don't know, sad state of affairs, but that's just where we are in the die cast market. I think that's where we've been for a very long time just because, you know, people see a quick buck and so they just inflate the value of these cars, even though they're just nice cars. Everybody should have them. Kids should get to play with them. People should get to have them in their collections. You know, you shouldn't really charge them a, f a fucking arm and a leg for it. But either way, man, that's my review of the Matchbox Dodge Monaco police car from 2008. I've been your host, Jarvis Gotten. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more diecast content. And as always, giggity, 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 giggity. Stick around.